that our future looks very bright. So, I'd like, so I'd like to, to celebrate, celebrate you, young ones. ones. Thank you so very much for your patriotism. Thank you so very much for your patriotism. Thank you so much for your We love you <laughs> At this time, I would like to welcome the Honorable Minister, Honorable Bradley Phillips, to share some inspirational words to us as we start off the leg in his constituency. Good morning, everybody, those who are viewing and those who are present. Welcome, as the Deputy Chair of the Constituency Council said, the most picturesque part of our beautiful St. Lucia. Ebebe for Schwozel! As we pass the baton, while it is very symbolic, let us not forget what it really means. One people shaping our destiny. And as we pass the baton from person to person, we must remember the contributions who have made their contributions to Schwozel and St. Lucia those who are currently making their contribution and those who will be making the contribution. And that's why we have a mix of retirees, of old, of young, of the children, of the teachers, of the craftsmen, of the fishermen. A wide range of people will be partaking in the baton um, passing today. We, it appears that we will continue to be blessed with showers as was done in Sufra yesterday. So I ask everybody to be careful. But let's enjoy day meaning of what we're doing trying to be unified let us not forget that and let us not make it just today but let us remember that's the only way, only way we can progress and go forward to be united so that being said i want to wish everybody a blessed and a wonderful day and i will be taking my leg very soon thank you bye bye Honourable Minister, the Honourable Minister has been here with us from yesterday. And we thank him for his presence and we thank him for all the outstanding support of the National Independence Battle. At this time, we would like to welcome the first runner of this leg. The first person who will commence the battle relay from Shodan. I also would like to welcome our parliamentary representative as well to hand him the baton. So currently, Martin from the Ministry of Housing and Local Government holds the baton as the host of the baton. The Honorable Bradley Phillips has the baton. And on that baton, you see our flag raised high. Yesterday, the Honorable Bradley Phillips placed it there to signify the commencement of the journey to this constituency in Israel. So we'd like to thank the Honorable Minister for handing over the battle to the first leg holder of the battle as he comes on his and in form of encouragement. <laughs> Good morning, St. Lucia. Good morning, Mama Echeze. Oh, yes. And as you have heard, this morning we are in the place to welcome all of you, those viewing online and those physical partners, to join us in the leg as we move the independent battle for Shrizel. Because this morning you have witnessed our parliamentary representative, Honorable Vargas Kevin handing the baton to the first individual that will be going the first slide, Mr. Myron Joseph. Mr. Myron Joseph is from Victoria Schwizel, right here where we stand. Of course he was born and he lived in Victoria all his life. He is the proud owner of Cool Joy Disco and Bar. We all know Cool Joy, the hot spot, that spot where all our young persons come together on a weekend to have a good time. Of course, Byron inherited that bar from his 
Mother many decades ago. Of course, as we see, Mr. Joseph, he's well known for being a very prominent figure in Shrazel and in St. Lucia. Mr. Joseph also worked as a designer during his younger days when he was involved in manufacturing furniture, chairs, and many other things that we have in Shrazel. Ladies and gentlemen, as we begin our independence with the battle, let us encourage, let us encourage our first The battle was signed. The as you can pose on national flag. This morning, and um, he was able, he's now able to commence his leg. We gain a dark part of the history that will be read the evening of the 25th, class trees on the walk and square. The children are. As they carry the bantor, they all pack the edge. And they pack at the bottom of the back. As two hands hold. So as you can. I go with you. The national independence battle is the brainchild of original yeah. I am a Saint Lucia, yeah. That's who I am. Find that place so sweet, melodies in the heat. Everybody's on the road, we jump in for one call. To where the soca play, our culture on a display. Everybody say, we vibe the special way. The city people. Excited that our stuff all over the world, Frederick Bowman, the Fred Country sold out today. We anticipate this project. We anticipate that you will be more than happy to speak with us as we for the consistent. Uh, in the, uh, in the, uh, in the, uh, 
not it. But today, you will have an opportunity as you come through to see and learn about the different places in Chazelle. Mr. Myron Joseph, as you can see, is handling presently and he is moving towards, we are now leaving Victoria and we're heading down into Mongolia. As I said previously, Mr. Myron Joseph was born and lived his life in Victoria. He is the owner of Silicon Disco and Bar, which he took over from his sister's mother. He has been operating this establishment for over a decade now and has been serving the surrounding community. Of Chazelle, persons visiting from any part of St. Lucia, those who are visiting St. Lucia as visitors. You can't miss school during this school because of its location. Situated right here on the highway between Sufres Town and Chazelle Village. Mr. Myron Joseph, very talented. This man is so very prominent in Chazelle. So I'm very.
on two, one and a half, two, big up filming, big up black boy, thank you for your connectivity, one, two, one, one, one. This is the National Independence Battle Relay, brought to you by the Ministry of Housing and Local Government, in collaboration with the National Independence Team. A pleasant good morning to each and every one of you. We're in Israel this morning. The National Independence Battle commences in Castle South. We made our way into answering panels. Yesterday we completed the journey in Sufre. This is the National Independence Battle, really. A journey in. It will make its way through each and every constituency on island. Yo, DJ General. The battle signifies togetherness, unity, bringing our people together. This is the brainchild of the Honorable Richard Frederick, his permanent secretary in the Ministry of Housing and Local Government, Dr. Cadillian Lynn Ambrose, Deputy Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Housing and Local Government, Sula Charles Belizer, and the hardworking team at the Ministry of Housing and Local Government. Come on. At this time, uh, the battle is making its way through Chazelle, and we can identify our flag flying high on the battle. This flag was placed there last evening by the Honorable Bradley Phillips, who is the parliamentary representative for Chazelle Saltibus. Every time we complete a constituency, the flag is placed onto the stub that upholds the battle. And then it is replaced to the next constituency. One second, good morning. As you are viewing the battle, Moving for the community to rebel. And of course, we have witnessed first handing over when the rep handed it over to Mr. Myron Joseph. And so we're about to witness the second exchange when Mr. Myron Joseph is now going to hand it over to, to Ms. McCrina Diodoni. Diodoni is one of at the community centre. She was born and lived at Victoria on the land, so we are still in Victoria. She has been working with the health department at the Mogoge Wellness Centre for over 20 years, where she has provided Mogoge and surrounding communities with health care for the day. We are now witnessing the exchange of the battle. Mr. Joseph has just handed it over to Ms. Theodore. As I was saying, Ms. Diodoni is one of our health personnel at the Mogoj Wellness Centre. She is also a community activist. She has engaged in farming on a small scale. And she spends much of her time, she said one of her hobbies is that of that, especially that of country and western. Ladies and gentlemen, as you walk through Shazel, as we drive through Shazel, take a look at the beauty, the tranquility of this lovely place. As we witness the battle, 
Ben Moore, from our first individual, Mr. Joseph, and now being handled by Ms. Makuna Nogoni. Mongoosh and Miss Lucia was born and raised here at Mongoosh. Miss Maud Rose is differently able and however we speak of inclusion. One people shaping our destiny. Miss Monrose worked as a machine operator over the past decades before she became disabled. She works as a machine operator. Presently, she's a bit mentally challenged, but she's the mother of three girls who reside overseas. We are proud to include within our land persons of different capabilities, different individuals, all being included as we all try to shape our destiny, shaping our country. One mover and some one people shaping our destiny. As you can see, we are moving slowly from Victoria and making our way down to Mogul. The road has been changed this year. The road has been changed as we are moving not on the highway. We have given other persons an opportunity to witness our national independence by small relief. The road this year is that we're moving from Victoria through to Mogul, through Shrikal Village, up from La Far, and we move ahead until we head to our community of South Bus. And presently, our battle has been handled by Ms. Rocha Monroe. As we pass through Mongol, going through the rapid junction. For those who do not know Shotel very well, we are now passing the rapid junction. And we are about to make our way down to one of the areas where we will get the best craft men in Shotel. Third person handling the battle this morning, Miss Losha Bodu. Thank you. 
Kali of Fisher of the Company. And that one's for me. And by extension of our country. Once again, this is the brainchild of the Honorable Richard Frederick, his permanent secretary in the Ministry of Housing and Local Government, Dr. Cadillan Ambrose, deputy permanent secretary in the Ministry of Housing and Local Government, Ms. Charles Charles Bidizer, and the hard-working team at the Ministry of Housing and Local Government. We appreciate your support on behalf of the Ministry of Housing and Local Government and also the International Independence Committee. We pay a special thank you to you. for investing in your people, for celebrating your people. So we say bravo to the government of St. Lucia for being our key sponsor for the national battle relay. Of course, as we make our way from Mogouj, fix your eyes as the camera picks up. We got in the background. What makes us now can such a view. I welcome you to Choiselle as we do our leg of the independence battle. And now we are about to say an exchange of the baton. We are about to witness an exchange of the baton as Miss Lucia Monroe's now handle to Mr. Marcellus Phillips. Ah, Mr. Marcellus Phillips is very proud this morning to be handling this very important baton. Of course, Mr. Phillips is a road carver. What else you would get in Chazelle? And the spot where we're, we're now is one of the areas where you would get the best wood work. My chairs, then my flower, rocking chair to enhance your home. Whatever you need it, so I can make it more comfortable. You can get it right here at Mogu. But handling the baton right now is Mr. Marcellus Felix. He was born in Chozel, of course, in the community of Mogu. He is a multi-talented gentleman. He has worked as a where he has served the community with local bread, and now he has engaged himself mostly in that of craft work, wood carving. He also does a bit of masonry and carpentry. He has been employed with persons both locally, nationally, and also regionally. He has traveled quite a bit to perform his duty. He presently lives here and produces, like I said before, talk about straw chairs, wooden bags, straw mats, those items that can be purchased to remember peace of Chozel. Ladies and gentlemen, we are moving through the community of Mongoj in Chozel. Of course, this morning we spoke of being in a picturistic place, and of course there's nowhere else to see that than in Chozel. So fix your eyes, I'm sure the camera has given you a glimpse of Gopito in the background. We feel very excited this morning as we go for Chazelle, taking the road of Mongouge from Victoria down to Mongouge and are making our way into Chazelle village and onwards. Allowing other persons to participate and have a glimpse of such a very important event. Our 
our national independence baton relief. and ready to see an area, a central part of Mogul, our business community, surrounding an area where you will see our community center, our public library, our many supermarkets, and one of them which is which has served the area for decades, almost a century, Tell Supermarket. <laughs> Mr. Leonard Bonnie handling the battle currently, proudly walking with it. What has served St. Lucia with much pride and dignity. Center. We have a public library and 
and a little fact, a bit of history, that the community center spot was once where the school was located. However, the school got destroyed by Hurricane Allen in 1918, and as a result, the school was relocated, but the name was never changed. Save Mark Supermarket, Enterprise serving the community. Also, our wellness center, we can see our health aid, our art, sharing, and supporting what is happening to the The legendary business, Cal Supermarket. That supermarket has been present for over, I would say, nearly, well, let me not say over, nearly a decade. Nearly a century, sorry. Cal Supermarket. That is the place where. Be assured you'll get it at Kell Supermarket. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to witness another exchange of the baton. And this time, Mr. Johnny is going to pass the baton to one of our infants from the community of Mongo. The baton has been now passed on to Khaled Jabatis. He is a grade two student of the Mongo Combined School. Yeah. 
give him the support. Working together in solidarity. Chapman is called representative of the Mogul Combine School. He is old and currently a student in grade three. Chapman is of the community of Ravino Chozel. He is an only child and is very enthusiastic about sports. Chazelle is an only child and is very enthusiastic about sports. He has demonstrated self and is eager to represent the school at national level. Although he's not able to realize his dream this year, hopefully, because of limitations, the school is not able to host his annual sports meet. We are hopeful that Kimran will do very well in the line of Spots, spots. Today, Kiran is a proud student because he's eagerly participated in this leg of the national independence battle relay. Let's go, Kiran! Stay with them. And so his schoolmates have joined him. The is still on, and we have students from our other grades who have also joined to support to support Kiran as he. Makes his way with the baton as we go through the community of Poyong. This is the National Independence Battle Relay brought to you by the Ministry of Housing and Local Government in collaboration with National Independence Committee. The National Independence Battle signifies togetherness, unity, under our independence with our sons. As we make our way from point out, we think about the camera, now the camera is pointing to the home of the oldest person in St. Lucia. This lady, Miss Agatha Gustin is 110 years old. I'm sure she's the oldest in St. Lucia, for sure she's the oldest in Trizel. We call her Auntie Aggie, and Auntie Aggie remains very active, although a bit bedridden currently, she's still very active and can do much for herself. And so, we move on, the children cheering and moving on to the baton. As we head down Koyo, moving through the community where we have Miss Aggie, our oldest St. Lucian resident. And we go down through this area and coming up is a very famous bar, which was owned by the best teller in St. Lucia. We can boast that much. Mr. Andu, known as Mr. Andu. And Mr. Andrew has raised this nephew who is the one who stole for all our first men on Ireland. I can tell you, we have nurtured one of the best tailors on Ireland. Our students are moving on. Very excited to be part of this activity. Kimran is walking proudly with the battle. He's getting ready, getting ready to pass it on. So Mr. Felix Bourdreau. We are now ready to witness the exchange of the battle. And the battle has been handed over from Kimran Felix. And Kimran has handed it off to Mr. Bourdreau. His shot is even printed Bourdreau. Proud and Russian. Mr. Bourdreau has migrated to this part of Chazelle, Poyon. However, he's originally from La Poitre, Chazelle. He is employed in the Ministry of Infrastructure as an engineering technician. He has been doing that for the past 27 years. His responsibilities are to maintain the road network and the government infrastructure from Riverdory Bridge to Myers Bridge. He 
also serves on Joseph Israel's cooperative board because one of his pastimes is that of fishing. He does much of that in his spare time. So we can say he's an engineering technician and also a proud fisherman. Sharing his honor is his wife, Mrs. Vodra. That's the spirit. How we do it in Joseph. Stand his own. You don't see how Mr. Vodka would look forward to smoker roads in Chazal in the year 2023. We are now, we have left the community of Poyon and we are making our way down to Martin. This is Martin. Generally, people call the entire area more communities one into the other. So currently we are going down to the community back in. This is an independent sponsor of it to help the local government in collaboration with the independence committee. The doctor is uh, currently being carried through the community of Shrozel. In that battle, there is an independence message. Everyone who carries the battle today has the honor of carrying that independence message. That message will be read the evening of the 21st in Castries on the Derek Walker Square. At the top of the mountain, you can identify our national flag flying high. It was placed there last evening by the Honorable Brad Phillips, parliamentary representative for Shosa Fountain. Thank you to the chairperson, deputy chairperson, councillors of the Shrozer Constituency Council. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to witness an exchange of the baton. Mr. Vaudrock, Felix Vaudrock is now handing the baton to one of our best porters, Mrs. Irene Alphonse. Mrs. Alphonse, as mentioned, is one of the best crafters in Brazil. A master in pottery making and carving. You know, after the very tender age for her, the age of nine, when she started in pottery with mother. At the age of 15, she was sent by her mother to the Chosel Craft Center to do training in cabin, where she spent about three years doing just that. She then traveled to Anguilla for 27 days for more training. Upon her return, she joined Unific Art Studios up on the moon as a trainee and a worker. After much training, she returned to Chosel Craft Center where she worked for some time. Mrs. Alphon proudly bought herself about her own business which has afforded her the opportunity to travel to different islands and countries like Belgium, Texas, Jamaica, Trinidad, Barbados, Guadeloupe, just to name a few. She also trains many of our youngsters in Trozel from the various schools to engage in something so refreshing, therapeutic, something that will bring you that calm, poetry making. She's able to design any style that you want. Any flower pot, animal pot, name it. Miss Alphonse, she has. Ladies and gentlemen, our pottery, personal hair, our craft, Miss Irene Alphonse, happy to, to pass it on to one of our very old. Lawrence James. 
And so we continue in the community of Aten. Oh yes. This album has just handed it over to Mr. Lawrence James. Mr. Lawrence James is a musician by profession. He learned to play the Amagana as a child. It's a pity this morning he cannot give us a rendition with his mouth organ. He learned to play the mouth organ as a child at the very tender age of seven. The first time he was handed an instrument by his teacher, he said he began playing it right away. He learned to play with the trials and error, but he said he picked up gradually. Resort and Shasley Hotel, Massey Stores, and of course in church, Brazil Roman Catholic Church. He enjoys what he does and is normally accompanying a shop on their various gigs, playing and entertaining people with his mouth organ. And as you can see, Mr. James. Because he's using his stick this morning. But as we said, do for us up. We are embracing all our people. One people shaping our destiny. Embrace our people in Trizel. And so, heads up, Mr. Agora was suddenly carrying the battle, representing Trizel, representing St. Lucia. I'd like to say a special good morning to Mr. and Mrs. Sapley. Check on Proud Set Motions as we make our way for the community of Martin. We'd also like to acknowledge and say special thank you to Forest Springs for this activity this morning.
Community of Lirish. He's a graduate of the Chazelle Secondary School. He graduated in the year 2022. This gentleman is very ambitious and is desirous in continuing his studies but is unable to do so currently because of financial constraints. Presently, he works with his dad on the farm in order to save much needed funds to further his studies. Mitch is a lover of sports. He is excellent in the athletics. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mitch Pampel, making his way through the rich carrying the baton. Come on, Mitch, let's raise that baton to show how proud we are in Trezel as we move forward to Vasa, to Ghana. 
we shall certainly shape our destiny. Ladies and gentlemen, we continue through the communities in Chazelle. First, you know Chazelle is very glad. And this road this morning, we started off at Victoria. We started our Chazelle line from Victoria. We have made our way down to Montrouge, into Comion, down into Martin. And we continue down into the rich. We are currently in the rich. Of course, the people of the rich are known for the farming. So we are in this farming community where we have persons engaging in much of the planting of potatoes, peanuts, things that go very well in Brazil. And those viewing and those listening, if you did not know, Chazelle is known for the seven peas. Something to put them on. Try to imagine what those seven peas are. Currently, we see Mitch Pamphill carrying that baton down for the rich. Proudly carrying it for his community. A place that makes his back. Helping out, helping his dad, helping the farmers, working a cute sum and ensuring that they make livelihood happen. Of course, we are joined by our national team of 18, and they shall continue to give the promotion. Somebody who's very passionate about agriculture, a farmer by profession, Mrs. Mary Helen Lappe, also known as Miss Annick. We're not going to witness the exchange of the baton. Mitch now is going to hand the baton to Miss Annick, Mrs. Mary Helen Laffey. Come on. Ben Who will not hold you tonight? Who has been living in this community? Thank you very much, Mitch. Miss Annick and Mrs. Laffey has been living in this community for the past 15 years. All her life in the area, she does farming as a profession which both herself and her husband have a passion for. She plants all sorts of different crops, including that of potatoes, tomatoes, celery, celery, eggplant, peppers, and the list goes on. She also raises animals, pigs, goats, sheep. She loves to 
what she does. She does it with her passion. And she said that she gets up at 4 a.m. every day to do her calf chores before she goes off. But do not get onto that farm not until the sun goes down. Despite her many challenges, she'll be made resilient. Good morning to you, Miss. How are you? Very well. She says, despite the challenges and famine, she remains resilient. She believes that nothing can be achieved without hard work and perseverance. One of her major problems, she said, is getting people to work on the farm. Ladies and gentlemen, carrying our baton. Raise that battle up, Miss Sammy! Mrs. Mary Helen Laffey. And we continue down through the area of the rich. I had a vision on the wooden leaf. Some people jumping up, jumping with one toe. I know why not jumping only. We don't raise it one day. The distance I can see our parliamentary representative is in set with his legs and we're trying to ensure that the crumb doesn't take him anywhere out. National Independence Battle currently preparing to hand it over to our parliamentary representative, the Honorable Bradley Fleet. Right where we drive, the camera is picking it up, is property Emmat from Hyatt Hotel. I'm not walking there, I want you all. Into our beautiful Snapwisha. We are now witnessing the exchange of the baton. Honorable Felix has been handed the baton by Mrs. Laffey. And Felix, we trust him, he said he's going to run that. That's the spirit. And he's going to take that baton from Lirish up to Savage George. That's the spirit. is a banker by profession. He was born in the village of Cozel and has, and as a result of his movement to pass three, most of his profile was in the community as soon as he graduated from the St. Mary's College. Honorable Felix, he is currently on his second term as the Brexit Parliamentary Representative for Shrizel Saldibus. Presently a member of the opposition. During his first term in 
Pacho last evening when it entered his footstep. But it's through the constituency. There is an independence message in there, so the Honorable Minister is carrying that in a message. That message will be read the evening of Berry at the Frick Walker Square. And then I speak one, one people our destiny. The Honorable Bradley Flex carries uh, the battle which, uh, which signifies unity and togetherness. He is not a fit, but he is also a dancer, see? Say bravo to the minister. for his constituency. Ladies and gentlemen, Honorable Phillips has reached the end of his leg, and so he is now handing out the baton to Mrs. St. Rose, Williana St. Rose. Thank you, Honorable Phillips. Ladies and gentlemen, the baton has been passed on and we welcome, I see on site, our medical team, our fire officers, police officers, community members. Good morning! Good morning, Ms. Cheryl! As a spirit, the Vasa. Ladies and gentlemen, you are now witnessing the baton being carried by Mrs. Williana St. Rose.
from such a place. I'm traveling with some persons from Castries, even though my brother is going for But it's the truth they said. Council. 
our post personnel are out the post office. We have Revenge Patel. Our very own market step, Chosel Market Step. Good morning! I'm feeling the love from Chosel. Good morning, officer. I'm fine, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we parade for Chosel as Mrs. Sarah Edwards carries the national battle. Of course, we have the credit union. We make lives better. That's what the motto says. Our Chosel Corporate and Credit Union. And I can see our staff member waving away. Good morning. Same part. Wanted supermarket. How are you doing? Business at Chosel. Very tranquil. Of course, Mrs. Edwards is enjoying her time carrying that battle. Should be giving us a piece of quadrant hair. our parish base. Rosanna, your very own is carrying this independent Mato fruit, the village. A young lady, I'm I calling her young because she looks so young. Our very own Mrs. Sarah Edwards, who has served with the numerous capacity from chairperson of the Shazam Village Council. She has served of the Shazam Disaster this committee served on the Red Cross. She has given birth to paralyze that group. Of course, an educator at heart, served at the Dugan Combined School for a number of years. We are proud to carry that battle to bring forth the theme Go by ourselves, one people shaping our destiny. Thank you for your support. <laughs> 
Up, it's his strides 
Swords La Park is our very own Devin Phillip of At this time, we'd like to thank the Ministry of Housing and Local Government staff for joining us. Thank you to all staff, all the Ministry of Housing and Local Government staff. Let me hear your horns. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. and local government, the staff from the offices on the ground with us today. We say welcome, we say thank you so very much for joining us. We're so excited that you are here with us. Ministry of Housing and Local Government, let me hear your horns. Pick up the Ministry of Housing and Local Government staff. You guys are amazing. You guys have really put on a great show national-wise. Humbly, I say bravo to each and every one of you. That broke my heart. Go on and on. I go put on my radio player in Jamaica. When will this stop? Go on and on. You get a walk and wine mash. You need a bellusha where you live. Mighty Pele, you will be first road match and lose. It's a man. You think so bad. We're not going to lose. It's a job. 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 It's a in our chest, in our clothes, in the councillors, shows our constituency councillors. We say a special thank you to you. We thank you for I represent Saint Lucia, my own country, that my 
and women. Let us make some noise as we see Devon continue to as he continues representing his country, representing his community, representing his district, and most especially representing his school. And as we make our way, let's make some noise and wave your flag for Devon. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Thank you very much. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Devon Phillips. from the Swizzle Cemetery and is moving onwards. Very acrostic young man, proudly representing his school. Meters. 
Consistent in view. Thank you so much for your.
Thank you, lovely job. job. Well done. Good morning, students. Good morning, parents. Good morning, supporters. Good morning, PE teacher. Give them some rest. We're going to go combine school. Good morning. Good morning, my colleagues. Want some attention. Good morning once again. And so the battle has been received by Quick Nassau. Currently, 
see the students carrying the baton, which was designed and made by his worship, Cyril Saltibus, the mayor of the fort. Flying high on that battle is our national flag. The flag was placed there yesterday by the Honorable Bradley Phillips. This signified the start of the journey for the Chozelle. Once this journey is completed, it will join the other flags, the other communities, flags on the base of the baton. So at the end of the journey, we should have completed eighteen constituencies. And we are doing 18 because Ancillary and Canaries both have individual town councils. So they each had a flag to represent each council. carrying the battle at this time and are currently carrying the independence message. The independence message is found in that battle and it will be read the evening of February 21st at the Derek Walker Square. of this particular exercise is being met. I have said time and again that the only way we can pass on the positive values to the next generation by involving the children directly in the things we plan and the things we do. And you can see the enthusiasm, you can see the excitement among the children. And this can only help to foster more national pride in the next generation. And this, of course, will make St. Lucia a better place for everybody. So I'm happy to be here. This is not my constituency. I'm making my Minister of Education rounds. Uh, rounds, sorry, and so I thought it was necessary to stop there and, and lend some support to the students of the Riverdury Anglican School. I will be continuing my journey. There's a sports meet in Souvre. I want to take a bit of this, but rest assured next week, Wednesday, when the battle gets to the Mabuya Valley, then we know more specifically, um, the excitement will be um, even more a lot more than what you're witnessing here today so congratulations to the ministry of local government the various officers and i know the minister himself the honorable richard frederick 
extremely passionate about this particular activity and it is really refreshing to see the number of St. Lucians who are lending support, not just by way of um, liking the different posts on social media, but actually coming out, lining up the road to lend support to the event. This is something I, I, I envisage will grow over time, even bigger than what we are witnessing at the moment. And it, it augurs well for independent celebration and ultimately getting our people to cultivate and engender a sense of national pride that is so necessary in today's world, especially at a time when the resources are not as forthcoming as they used to be. We can only make progress as a country if we work together. And as insignificant for some people as this might seem, um, it does a lot in terms of reaching the average St. Lucian and bringing people from all walks of life together to celebrate independence as one of the uh, milestones in, in the life of any nation. But it would be remiss of me, Minister, to allow you to run away and not ask you, will you be taking a leg? Absolutely, I'll be taking a leg. I look forward to it. I've been training for my leg. I can, I can assure you that the attire I, I plan on done in one time for two days. It was very handy in my closet. So I'm really looking forward to it. But I can tell you, we have a security council in the Denise Group Block and South. Especially as you lead such youth and the future of St. Lucia. Where do you see our independence going in the next couple of years, especially with this event? As I said earlier, um, for many this is just another activity. But in terms of the rich, in terms of the, the, the individuals who are called upon to participate, this can only augur well for us as a country. We have to continue to work together. It is by working together, putting politics aside, um, religious differences aside, it is when we come together and we put our shoulders to the wheel in unison with each other, that is when St. Lucia um, makes its biggest strides. And looking at this event, in terms of when it was first conceived and what it has mushroomed to become today, it can only get bigger and I'm sure the organizers will be forced to go back to the drawing board and to, to look at a different approach that will cater for the number of participants and the enthusiasm, excitement and interest that this particular event has been generating um, the couple times it has been held. Thank you so very much, Minister. I'll allow you to enjoy your moment and get into Sufre. Thank you. At this point, we're just enjoying the moment with the children. We're just enjoying the children flying our flag high. It's an amazing experience when the future of St. Lucia is celebrating the anniversary of independence in such a manner. Okay. 
from Salty Bus, so I'll be taking the Salty Bus leg. So after the school children have done their bit, I'll be there. Thank you so much, Senator. Enjoy with the children. I know you're an educator by profession, so I know this warms your heart. So enjoy. I'm 
So right now, our permanent secretary is in her elements. Our permanent secretary has abandoned her, her post and now has returned to her first love of education. So you now see her with the class of 90, 98. They're very boastful. So these are teachers who serve and they graduated from 1998. Well, the minister, Sean Edward, he has left. So he's part and parcel of this class. Eve and I'll say, and of course, in green, our permanent secretary, Dr. Cadillia Lane Ambrose. So congratulations, ladies, for being such a pillar of the foundation of this nation education. And of course, what I did say, I said, I can join the dance because it seems education is the foundation of this nation, and you must be in the dance center as an educator yourself. So we'd like to thank you. Thank you for touching the lives of many students. As a, a young lady, I could tell you there are certain teachers who actually have made me the woman I am today. So I know that you all could share that testimony. So please keep going. Please keep educating. But please give us back our peers. <laughs> She lights up when she has education. This is our PS and her graduating class of 1998. My permanent secretary loves education. She loves the children. So these are the activities she loves. She jumped off the vehicle and she says, we are walking. So we are currently walking with the children, celebrating independence. Children, I don't see the flags. I need to see some flags. We wave it. 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 Salut, how are you there? We wave it. We wave it. We wave it. Children, you all are winners in your own rights.
And at this point in time, we have seen the handing over where Queen Nesta has handed the baton to wonder Johnny Zavi. And of course, Miss Zavi has received it and is ready to make the next leg. Mrs. Zavi is a resident. She's a resident of La Fang. She has been involved in many community activities. She has participated in sporting events such as netball for the Sidoni Netball Club. Miss Zavi continues to participate in many fun walks. She was also awarded the first prize for female in the Schwazel Healthy Lifestyle Walk. That took place in 2007. Mrs. Zavi served as an official at many sporting events, especially for the primary schools. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now going to witness Mrs. Zavi as she carries the baton from the Rivadori Anglican School onward. All right, thank you, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, we move on as we say, Mrs. Xavier carrying the baton. We make our way from Rivadori off to Balabush Estate. Rivadori, well known for Twee Twee and Chardon, I was told. You can't go wrong when you get this to add to your fish cakes, your aqua. So as we make our way to Trazel, we are now at River Dory, and we are nearing the River Dory Bridge. Very lovely river down there. And we move onwards to Battle Bush Estate. Good morning, residents of River Dory, who are watching onwards. As we continue to witness persons participating in this year's independence, Battle Relief. We have seen so many persons from different professions in Brazil, our fishermen, teachers, students, retirees, and as we said, it is together we will do it. Do va assam, as the theme says, we are praying that in Brazil, as has been done in the previous we like to say a special good morning to the workers of the Ministry of Housing and Local Government. The poster that follows so happy. That our team been uh, with the band, so we were excited to hear that everyone is joining us on the road. So thank you for joining us. This is the National Independence Battle Relay brought to you by the Ministry of Housing and Local Government in collaboration with the Independence Committee. Battle Relay is the brainchild of Honorable Richard Frederick, his permanent secretary, Dr. Cadena Lane Ambrose, Deputy Permanent Secretary, Solas Charles Benizier, and the hard-working team at the Ministry of Housing and Local Government. Henry, a soup bread, and now a 
Martin Hotel. The bath is by His Worship Cyril Sultus, who is mayor of Fort. Chairman John Cradle, his deputy, 
city of Salty Bus, where he built a business for himself. And he says this did not come easy, but through sacrifice and hard work. Oswald spent most of his childhood and adult years as a mechanic and operator of heavy equipment. This hobby bloomed into a passion which urged him in creating his own business named Aussie's Pumix Limited. And this business is located right here at Balabuja State. Mr. Oswald Trentan, he says, being in this business reminds him of his days when he used to play with trucks as a child. And he sees this has become a reality. The business has aided the community through donations and charitable work over the past years. When Mr. Oswald is on, isn't under a truck, his free time is spent watching YouTube videos where he learns to enhance his skills in the field of construction and also how to manage and fix heavy equipment. He says he has a special passion as well for looking at TikTok videos. That's his form of relaxation for a good laugh. And this encourages him to nurture strong family bonding. Mr. Oswald is a well-loved husband and father. Ladies and gentlemen, we present Mr. Oswald Tapia, who now has the battle. Good morning to you, Toto. How are you? We are now at Balabush. And coming up is the Balabush Estate, a place which is well known by many for hosting the land in the South. Currently, it is open to all those interested in hosting the special location, whether it's for marriage, go to parties. Balabush Estate, the lovely Balabush Estate, right into the cell. It's always open to welcome you. And so, friends, only move on as Mr. Oswald Flavier carries the baton to South Versus Junction. Secretary in the Ministry of Housing and Local Government. Solange Charles Bélizer, the Deputy Permanent Secretary in the very same ministry. And the hardworking staff, the hardworking team at the Ministry of Housing and Local Government. We'd like to thank Jermaine. 
affectionately known to us as Black Boy from Party Access for carrying this event live. The people on the Can I Help You page, the government of St. Lucia page, and also NTM really appreciates this live streaming. People all around the world are currently viewing. We ask everyone to continue to share the light. Share your national pride. We're celebrating independence. The national battle. We're celebrating it on the ground with the people, and that is the power of local government. The Ministry of Public and Local Government brings this battle really to you, the people, with the various constituencies. to their community and by extension their nation revolution. Thank you. 
platforms, I said Trozelle is known for the seven themes. And I'm wondering whether you have come up with what are the seven themes. My driver is watching me straight in the eye, he's foolish. But I'm going to help him. The seven themes of Trozelle, coined by Mr. Mahapa Philip. Potato, patat, peanut, pistache, plum, win. Of course, we're known for the fish, the best fish on island. Page on pears, pottery, and at number seven, pretty people. Right? Hey, hey! Joshua Zed, please balance at this end. And we're now into the land of the Shabins at Saltibus. Listen, listen, listen. Hey, good. What's your name? We'd like to say thank you to everyone who has participated in making this event a reality. We are truly grateful to everyone who worked tirelessly in ensuring that this it has been a resounding success. Special, special thanks to the team, organizing team, and of course to the persons on the ground right here, to reserve the council office, our councillors, the participants, and of course our sponsors, especially Forest Spring. We thank you all. Without you, it would not have been possible. Thank you all, thank you all. You have made your country proud. As we continue with this battle, we are now at Saltibus. We are nearing and entering Saltibus. And we are making our way from the junction and we are heading into Balka area. The Balka area. We be jazz. National Independence Battle Relay. This is brought to you by the Ministry of Housing and Local Government in collaboration with the National Independence Committee.
National Independence March on Village. We're currently in Trozel for the day. The National Independence Battle Relay is an initiative by the Ministry of Housing and Local Government in collaboration with the National Independence Committee. The National Independence Battle under the theme will be carrying that independence message. The independence message will be read the evening of the 21st at the Derek Walker Square. The National Independence Battle is currently in the Shrozal. We started the journey in Castri South. We made our way to Antony, into Canaries, then Sopra, and now we are in Shrozal. This is the National Independence Battle Relay brought to you by the Ministry of Housing and Local Government. We journey with this battle to each constituency on island. This battle symbolizes unity, togetherness, 
Under the theme, our independence theme, the war of some one people shaping our destiny. The battle was designed by Mayor Cyril Saltibus. He is the mayor of the fort. The National Independence Battle, as it journeys through the various constituency, we celebrate the accomplishments of our people. We thank them for the contribution in the various communities and by extension the impact they have had on St. Lucia's development. This battle represents unity, togetherness once again. And if you're just joining us this afternoon, welcome, welcome. We are now at Saltibus. We are making our way from the Saltibus Junction, heading to Balcar, Bonjour, Jean Saltibus. And of course, we are witnessing the National Independence Battle Relief. Carrying the battle currently is young Dense Isha Paul. Dense is a 15 year old son of Saltibus community. He is a student of the Trussell Secondary School. Dense is a cricketer. Hobby is playing cricket that he does for his school, his community, and he has also gotten the opportunity to play for St. Lucia's National Junior Cricket Team. Your cricket continues to strike. And so you can see this afternoon, he is carrying his baton proudly, the proud St. Lucian. Ladies and gentlemen, all those viewing, our viewers, we are in the proud for the contribution that the youth continue to make. We have a responsibility to keep nurturing them and encouraging them to continue to strive for greatness. Denzi Japan, a student of the Shutsal Secondary School, a resident of Saltibus, carrying the battle from Saltibus Junction and he's making his way up to the junction at Balka. He has now taken his fit and we're going to see him is jogging up. Wave your back. Come on, my boy, raise that baton with pride. And for those who missed out, I did say and I just announced the seven P's of Chazelle. The seven P's of Chazelle. Chazelle, well known for our potatoes, peanuts, plums. Pesson, fish, but we give it in the Creole term, Pesson. Pigeon peas, pottery, and pretty people. Testimony. I said pretty people, but the women are on top of the list. Ladies and gentlemen, the beauty of Chazelle Saltibus, our constituency Chazelle Saltibus. We have had a great time going for Chazelle. We have great weather where the weather is holding and we are thankful for that. And we believe that it will keep holding on until we do the end of this leg. The battle, we are proud to have it in Chazelle and we are proud to carry it with much pride as we continue to play our part towards the development of our country. Together, we are going to forge ahead. Duva Assam, as our 44th independence theme states. Duva Assam, one people. This morning we saw a number of persons coming in together. Inclusion. We saw that of persons from different fields of work. We have had construction workers, we have fishermen, teachers. Our students have been part and parcel. We are proud that the number of persons who have been participating in ensuring that this 
leg of the independence battle is certainly a success. Coming up, we have so much more in store for you as we head into Southwest. We look forward to seeing our students of the Southwest Combined School who will be putting on a presentation. It was an honor suddenly as we went for Rivadori. It was suddenly great coming into contact with our Minister of Education. We also saw our parliamentary representative this morning who handed on the baton and he also did a lend. And many persons who continue to contribute positively to the development of Chazelle. For those who are joining, we are now at Saltibus. And young Denzel Chapoy is carrying the baton. What a beautiful place, thought of us. Right? That's it. All parts of Chazelle produce nothing but the best. Yes, part of my job is to market my whole mystery. Thank you. If you're missing out, you need to take a trip to Spatel to experience so much that we have in store. This year we made it possible for the viewers to see, and not only the viewers, but other persons within the district to witness the baton and the ruthless change from the normal highway to Victoria Dance of Ogoos. Right away we see members of the community joining themselves as they show their solidarity and support. Welcome, welcome. Supported him on, chained him on. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. Let's encourage him. And so we came for the communities of Mabush, Poya, the rich, down for the village. And it was amazing to see the participation and persons coming out. Everyone being part and parcel of this 46th independence anniversary. Baton Relay. We are proud to have you all in yourself to share a piece of our beautiful place with you. The scenery, tranquility. The scenery is one that can never have in the fall. Ladies and gentlemen, Denzel Chapeau carrying the baton.
Paris Spring Production Department. There is an avid sportsman who has represented his school at Institute Secondary Sportsman and now an active football player. This gentleman now represents not only his community of Salzburg, but all of our main sponsors in today's event, Paris Spring. Of course, you are encouraged and invited to enjoy the pure, fresh, cold, refreshing taste of Paris Spring waters as we accompany Toshiki on his leg of the race. Paris Spring, 100% natural spring water. Quench your first right away. There's no better mountain. Water is life. Take up your bottles of Paris, Paris Spring.
the National Independence Battle, really, brought to you by the Ministry of Local Government in collaboration with the National Independence Committee. natural water and so you are invited to partake and enjoy a bottle of this water which will ensure that you remain quenched that will ensure that you remain quenched of the drink. in Chazelle as Mr. Curry. That's it. And so, Mr. Calixtus George, better known as Cal Curry, was born at Balka, but now lives at Zaba. He is a retired government employee who works in the Ministry of Agriculture in the field of research, plant propagation, and nursery operations and plant quarantine. Mr. George had the first known art exhibition for schools in the library community and its environs. In poetry, he, was, he has one book published, Strides and Struggle, that's the title of his book. And he has others, he has several other manuscripts of other titles. His contribution to this area is a founder of the Contestors Youth Organization, TYO of Library. He has served as president and manager of the Saltimus Credit Union. He was instrumental in Sabusha Beach Park winning the Comfort 2000 competition, in the building of the Dalsair Health Center, in the establishing of the Coco Jum Plasm Bank at Bath Nursery. He introduced some non-indigenous fruit trees to St. Lucia as well. He was the 
in of our 21st independence logo, approaching the future with vision. And so, Mr. George continues to serve on the board of directors of the Caribbean Farmers Development Corporation, as well as the board of Sunshine Haven Farmers Cooperative. Ladies and gentlemen, a worker, a man who continues to give his time and talent to the place he calls home, Mr. Calixtus Leonard George, better known as Curry. As we make our way for Salt Bus, I can hear my voice resounding for the area. Ladies and gentlemen, we are proud to be part of this activity as we usher and support Mr. George making his way up. Carrying the battle with much pride. For he knows he has continued to serve and serve well, not just his community, but his Lucia Glad.
exhibition for schools in the community of Labry and its environs. He is also a writer of poems. In poetry, they said he published his book titled like Trials and Struggles. And also has many other manuscripts of other titles. He has been a worker in the community of Spartibus. He is a founder of the Testonian Youth Organization, TYO of Labry. He served as president and manager of the Saltibus Credit Union. He has been instrumental, or he was rather instrumental, in Sabusha Beach Park winning the Comfort Department competition. He also was tirelessly in the building of the Dulcet Health Center in establishing the Coco Jum Plaza Bank at Bath Mystery. He also introduced some non-indigenous food trees to Sabusha. Ladies and gentlemen, this gentleman carrying our baton this afternoon, he was the proud winner of our 21st independent school. Under the faith, approaching the future with the children. We have stood on several boards, and he has stood short to us, himself, and his environs. Currently, he's stood on the board of directors of the Caribbean Farmers Development Organization and the board of Sunshine Haven Farmers for Community. Ladies and gentlemen, Watch this proud Brazilian carrying the baton, none other than Mr. Alexis George.
now following in his footsteps and have represented St. Lucia in the boys on the seven football tournament. In fact, this morning we saw Mr. Philip Sun going the way from the Schwazel Cemetery up to Nicholas Gas Station, that of Devin Philip. So hey, the father of Devin Philip. So we see spots in their blood. Mr. Fabian Philip. Rajazalian enthusiastic about his sports, especially football, representing Trazel in numerous sporting activities, many football tournaments, and bringing the trophy home. This gentleman is apparently he works with Class Plus last year, and he has been doing that from 2005. And of course, we see him passing down and teaching his just the same as we have seen earlier today his son representing and carrying the baton from Giselle Cemetery our Catholic Cemetery to, to La Flag. now we witness the father Fabian Philip doing his leg of the carrying the baton from the double gap and he's headed all the way up to the Saltibus Combined School Thank you. 
us and as we drive through to my left is the entrance to another sub-community However, we put say upwards as Brianna Rosemont is carrying the baton and heading towards the South West Combined School. by the students of the Saltimus Combined School. It has truly been an honor moving through the various communities in Chazelle. And of course, now we are at Saltimus. We have just witnessed one of the students of the school who is, Miss Bri is Brianna Rosman, who represented the school and has carried the baton with much pride. At this point, we will witness a special presentation by the students of that school. Yeah, I'm 
session we must say job well done thank you very much and we want to applause young brianna roseman on the job well done carrying the bat up as we as we make our way up consult us at this point in time we are witnessing an exchange of the baton. we are witnessing the tip exchange as brianna will now hand on the baton to mr gilbert isaac and as we can see he is differently and mr isaac will be carrying the baton up from the saltibus combined to assa's bar ladies and gentlemen let's applaud come on put your hands together let's applaud mr isaac We have had a tremendous journey coming through the Korean Chosel and now we are at the tranquil part of Saltibus, the Saltibus Combined School. The students have just made a presentation. Well done. We want to express our gratitude to the principal and staff for preparing the students to participate in such great activity. And so, as we forge ahead, we have seen that. As we live, let's make some noise for the set. Let's go. Come on, children. Thank you, thank you. We are now with this an exchange of the baton. And we're moving right ahead with the Isa, or Gilbert Isa. The originate from humble beginnings. We are attended the Sotibus Combined School in the year 1964. And then he moved on to Newport Secondary until 1967. When he commenced a career there as a teacher for 40 years. Educationally 
and politically. This gentleman has served on numerous boards and committees, and he continues to work this even in his capacity currently. He says that he continues to work behind the scenes as well as this many others. This fight, this challenging, we did it, we did it, physically, materialistically, or in his illness, in, 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 in health, his ill in health, he is continuing his contribution in the best way. Ladies and gentlemen, camera picks it up so everyone can see this proud man who has put that so very much to this community. This is the National Independence Battle of Today, brought to you by the Ministry of Practice and Local Government, in collaboration with the National Independence Committee. The National Independence Battle really brings together our nation. So after second, you net, and as you can see, it doesn't matter how able or challenged you may be, we are welcoming everyone on this journey because we are going to vent our sum. The National Independence Battle currently contains an independence message. That independence message will journey to the various constituencies. So currently, he holds the National Independence message in the battle. This is an occasion where we in shall come together and celebrate. But I challenge us beyond independence to come together and continue on the journey. Bright and early this morning at 9 a.m. Where the Honorable Robin Phillips handed back so far to the first governor, the first participant of the National Independence Battle Relay. Contribution. We celebrate them and we certainly encourage them to continue. The National Independence. 
immense battle, really. It's on its journey. We're going through the constituency of Shrozel. We had a bit of a this morning, however, we're certainly enjoying this journey. I see persons on the live really enjoying this. Persons are dancing in the various places of establishment. Persons are celebrating this momentous occasion. We'd like to thank the workers of the Ministry of Housing and Local Government. We thank them so very much for their participation. We thank them so much for joining us on this. Thank you so very much. At this time, we have paused for just a bit. So we have paused for just a bit. We'd like to thank the government of Sen as our key much for the investment into the people as we celebrate our people in each and every constituency. The National Independent Corps really is the brainchild of Honorable Richard Frederick, his permanent secretary, Dr. Kadili Lane Ambrose, Deputy Permanent Secretary, Ms. Solange Charles Benize, and the hard work team of local. We continue to say thank you to those persons who have contributed tremendously to our community. Can you imagine if some of those persons never journeyed with the battle? So many people in our constituencies contribute, but we never get the opportunity to thank them. So the National Independence Battle has made this possible where we thank them, we celebrate them for their contribution in our various constituency on island. And now we are taking in the refreshing breeze of Saltibus. We are now witnessing an exchange from Mr. Gilbert to Dr. Pauline Antoine Prosper, or rather Senator Dr. Pauline Antoine Prosper. And of course she will be doing the upper leg of this baton relay. Senator Prosper is a former Girl Guide, Secretary, Treasurer, and President of the Saldivet Credit Union. She is also a former teacher, school principal, education officer, and President of the Principal Association. Presently, 
Dr. Prosper, the politician and community activist, is a senator and the parliamentary secretary in the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science and Technology, and Vocational Training. And she's an important member of cabinet. Senator Prosper vows to do her best to enhance the, uh, a specific nature of Chazelle Sotomayor's communities and encourage activities that will help enhance the economic well-being of members of this constituency. Ladies and gentlemen, holding the baton of a proudly is none other than our dear Senator, Dr. Pauline Antoine Prosper. And she is ready for the road.
everybody. I want to see a special good afternoon to Team RF, my permanent secretary of Sam, the DPS, and all the persons in touch to the Ministry of Housing and Local Government. You all have been doing a wonderful job. And it hit me yesterday, actually, I showed you the slide that the Sufre version of, of, of the battery lead reached over 200,000 people and you can give yourselves a round of applause so that we are in the peace. You know when things like that happen one understands that it is built altar of unity. It is built because whilst the Naseans may not want to participate, the people realize it's for the greater good of unification of this country. And P.S. I shall task you with our next endeavor, which is round hands around Fair Helen. We are starting in the Kalisa Gap and we are joining hands for the entire route from Kaldisab down to Denry, Miku, View, Fort Labry, Sufre, Swazel, Kabak, and we join hands at the Kaldisab Gap. We may need in excess of 100,000 people, but if we do it well, we can achieve it. So that is our next task, bringing people together for the better of Fair Helen. Once again, viewers online, I know you all saw me up to 11 o'clock last night. I am a bit tired but I believe I have to make my presence felt especially for the district rep in waiting the woman herself Dr. Pauline Antoine. So good day I'll spend the rest of the, the, rest of the afternoon with the team and I'll see you guys pretty soon. Thank you to the Honorable Minister and the whole team from the Ministry of Housing and Local Government. So we're getting ready to head down the road. Senator has the baton and her cabinet colleague is here with her as we do it to uh, a sum. We do it to for a sum. So this is the National Independence Relay by the Ministry of Housing and Local Government. The battle as it journeys through the various constituencies brings together the people in the battle currently is an independence message that will be read on the 21st of February, the 21st of February. Joining us, we are currently in the shows that Man, we like to welcome ministers she Dax Norville, brother Dax, come on the journey.
Ashburn Independent Committee. This is a celebratory battle. We celebrate persons who have made uh, valuable contributions to our community. Senator is parting down the road. We thank her for her contribution to education, politics, and her community. Of St. Lucia. They are our key sponsors. 
would like to thank them for investing in uh, their people, for celebrating their people through the national independence battle. Thanks, Minister of Finance and the Village Cabinet of Ministers for their vision and their support at this time. that we know she has the moon. local government are all on board as well. We are here in full force, full support for this event hosted by the Ministry of Housing and Local Government.
contribution to their community. Right now we have a Senator Dr. Pauline Antoine carrying the Bantor. Well, I would say dancing with the Bantor rather. Certainly having a good time. <laughs>
Ireland, every economy. An epic ender, the kind of vision always more and yeah, as we build our economy, build our society. So today we celebrate you, Senator Dr. Pauline Antoine, for your contribution to the stellar performance in education and your time you have invested in your community giving back. We say bravo to you, Senator. Independence battle really brought to you by the Ministry of Housing and Local Government in collaboration with the National
Bato really brought to you by the Ministry of Housing and and continues to volunteer his time and talent to the community. Thank you, Mr. Joseph Hart, for your contribution, both in the past and present. Contributes. Has a passion 
for farming as well and encourage as much of our farmers, especially the young ones in the community currently. He has served on many boards within the communities of both Saltibus and Trizel Pipa. He has served as a councillor on the Trizel Saltibus Constituency Council. Not an independent spot of the really. We journey through the island at this time and we are currently in Jerusalem Salt of Us. Ah! 
active in the squatting area, Arena Bear. It's the Josephat Lodge Cricket. He continues to coach and continues to guide many of the members of the South West Under 19 and the senior team. Ladies and gentlemen, those viewing, our viewers, persons listening, supporting this relay, carrying your baton currently is none other than Mr. Gabriel Joseph Hatch. This is the national independence at the moment. The Ministry of Housing and Local Government in collaboration with the National Independence Committee.
and so company power this leg of this back. So, unfortunately, because of the rain, I think she's going to do that pass on her own. <laughs> Distillers, uh, true value. You know. We'd like to thank you so very much for your contribution. We'd like to thank you so very much for investing as well in the National Independence Battle Reading. is noted and we appreciate you. This is the National Independence Battle Review. Joining at the community of the Assaultiveness. Somebody 
with us, and we do hope that he will such an amazing vision. She previously worked at the library while the center as a top attendant and that she did for the past nine years. However, some she's at the SAR of Lewis College. She began working as a community health aide at the Salt of Wellness Center. Nothing is too difficult for her to do for her clients. As just for what she does. Show them the education in time. Sometimes she even puts food on it. There's a member of the library sort of church where she served the Sunday school teacher. She says that her favorite covers are white and on her free time.
celebrating uh, celebrating persons who have made a good contribution to the community. This is a pretty museum where we put the spotlight on persons who continually give off the best to their community. And we just want to thank them for that. Moments. We celebrate what you 
you have done for us. Yeah. That's why we different from the rest. I love to be illusion. The Honorable Richard Frederick joined with his team right now as he will walk as well in solidarity. Say the great thank you to every sanitation worker in his ministry of local government. The Ministry of Housing and Local Government and every single worker has now joined the walk. The Ministry of Housing and Local Government by Honorable Richard Frederick, Secretary of the also, Deputy Permanent Secretary, all the workers are in solidarity saying thank you. Thank you to every sanitary worker and others. What else would you say? Keep going now, excited to see the all of the just shaking as I'm getting the opportunity to say good afternoon to you. of local government. We salute you, we thank you, and we appreciate your contribution. Now we have the Honorable Richard Frederick. 
with his team alongside Permanent Secretary Dr. Kabilene Ambrose, the Permanent Secretary Solash Kaus Benizek and his team from the Minimum Housing and Local Government walking in and acting with our situation. We still thank each other for the contribution.
independence battle are really brought to you from the local government. This is the brainchild of Honorable Richard Fetro, Secretary Dr. Kadilili Ambrose, Deputy Permanent Secretary Solange Charles Benazé. And it's hard working team at the Ministry of Prison and Local Government. And you see us, and then this is a national friend of Bangal. The team from the from housing local government. We are calling a team with their adventure. His permanent secretary, Dr. Kadik Mixing Kumar, permanent secretary, I Also, chain on uh, the team and also her cabinet partner, Honorable Richard Frederick. Everybody is Dr. Pauline Antoine. And she is here chairing on her cabinet colleague and his ministry of workers. We thank Dr. Pauline Antoine for joining us. I suspect she needs to join a local government. Something about local government. We want to thank each and every worker from the Ministry of House, um, the sanitation workers, and also the team on the road right now. You guys uh, certainly show what teamwork is, what solidarity is, holding each other accountable. Sticking with each other, I say, travel to the Ministry of Housing and Local Government. By Mr. Alice No. A sanitation worker from the Ministry of Housing and Local Government. Miss well, we say thank you, contribution. How that you do. Thank you for your out and your hard work. We celebrate Mr. Noel today. And it's able the make to out in four numbers to walk this journey with you in solidarity. I remind you that everything for us, we appreciate you.
but he is up for this 14, you seem from the ministry, it's on the road with him. His permanent secretary is there, his DP is there, his attache is there, his working team, his hard working team is there, his secretary is there. We say bravo to the Ministry of Housing and Local Government. Has it the local government? Our time to party on the road. That's our national dish. Young Platin and Baja. Look at Red and Casaba. I'm healthy. I'm proper. From the country. No supper. Shout out to my mama. For Coco Tea and the Aquas. Heard me? That's my lingua. It's an English with the Papa. Oh, it's fun. It's out here. Where is it? Enjoy with that. All right, then. Yeah. That's the time I see all the stuff. We thank them for the support. It certainly makes up. Thank you to each and every time. Under the Ministry of Housing and Local Government, we say thank you, sanitation workers. Your contribution is well acknowledged. We appreciate you. Thank you. 
his greatest aspiration is to be a professional athlete in order to represent his country, St. Lucia, and the world at large. Well, let's cheer on Tyrone. Come on, Mr. Hassan, you are with him. Make some noise for the young man.
We are a community of salt of us. <laughs> few persons making the contribution today and for, we are so very proud. We have seen our students, our workers, sanitary workers, council workers, retirees, teachers, construction workers, they have all made such a valuable contribution. I'm proud of you all. See your crony moving down. That battle for is for eight the eight. Put by the honorable Richard Frederick, the Minister of Housing and Local Men. Supported by prominent second Dr. Daniel Ambrose. Minister Secretary that I'm in a running a home that uh Secretary is here, Jamie and Rick Nana Law. What a killer. Some of the staff they sit at Jamie and running along. The ministry Frederick is still kind of jamming and running along. A few days ago, I told Jai, my minister, that it's a dream every morning. So I have no worries at all. Of course, our permanent secretary is a former athlete himself. So this is a piece of cake for her. This has been very powerful as we celebrate the youth, we encourage them and we run the full leg with them to let them know that we are here supporting. Independence is always for the children. To invoke a sense of pride. And one of my colleagues is helping a young school student tie his laces. This is how we do it together. My DPS has caught up. So now DPS has joined in. And she is jogging through the route as well. I really want to say bravo to the Ministry of How to Look at You guys, you got a great vote on the stuff. Bravo. Supports you. We check it with you, and you have our full support. She always stays in the background, but if you have no idea who our permanent secretary is, she's not carrying the flag. Has the cap on. This is our permanent secretary, Dr. Kadiri in Ambrose. It's impossible that you don't know our minister, but just in case, 
Are you from some part of the world that you have no idea who Honorable Richard Frederick is? He is the man in the middle of the in the flag. He is man of the carrot. I will take it. A bravo to Honorable Richard we thank you for being with us in the ministry. You see the party there? The party, the party lit. National Independence Battle. We are celebrating our people in our constituency and the journey with them. If people are wondering who are all those person things. Richard Fetcher and the Ministry of Housing and Low and talking about your experiments. We can't go at all. The ministry is the ministry that came out in green today. So the sea of green are the workouts of the Ministry of Housing and Local Government. These are the hard-working persons with the Honorable Richard Frederick. This is the hard-working team that has put this battle really together. This is a hard-working team. And this is the big song. DPS as well. So, as Thomas Bell is Good 
afternoon everyone, good afternoon the persons who are out viewing, enjoying what is happening this afternoon. We have slowly made our way out of Saltibus. We've had a long day, a very successful day. We have made our way from Victoria through to Morgoge, down to Fizzle Village, up the flag, River Dory, Malabut, up into Saltibus. We have back down. We've made our way back down to Saltibus. And now we are into Piai. Good afternoon, Piai! Oh, yes, we have people standing, viewing, enjoying what they're saying, what is happening. And we're on the final, the final exchange is coming up. Where we will say our student from the PI Combine School, Tyrone Carmel, came to be handling the ball of basketball from Village Group, Miss Inora Desi. Of course, we have such tremendous support. We have support of live and action on the road. People that are participating, enjoying what is happening. Good afternoon, Gabe. Good afternoon, Thomas. It's supporting. It is a pleasure to see everybody out and enjoying, taking photographs. People passing by, they are all enjoying what they see. See, body, draw. Of course, we do this as we get ready to celebrate our 44th independence. Independence anniversary. Under the fame, Grova Assam. Good afternoon, Esther, our counselor, Esther Tiofa. Under our independence fame, Grova Assam and people shaping our destiny. Of course, I can see the rocking up of our PI combined students. They are there waving the flag as the colleague is making his way down. I can see our of the Village Council, Mr. Prepin has joined in the gun and the to hand over to our neighboring Justin is also very much in tune with 
for the needs of the constituents. She is a proud mother of the part of whom she dotes on. Being able to cater for her daughter's needs, she said, is what brings her the greatest joy. And she said that joy, she passed it on. It's passed on to the constituents of Chazelle Sortibus. Ladies and gentlemen, Karen and Batak, final time, as Chazelle gets ready to hand over to our Nip District Laboratory is our very own village, Mrs. Enora Justine. And of course you can see she's accompanied by the President of the Village Council, the Deputy Chair, the Minister for Social, the Minister for Local Government, all the peers, and all the team members are rolling on and bringing the life and action from Chazelle to you. This is the front of the leg as we head over to hand it back or to elaborate. We are waiting to the so that we can be handed over to them. National Independence Battle Relay. We are just turning through shows our south of us. last evening, which started off the journey to Chosel Saltibus. And now Chairman Joseph Joseph has since placed the flag on the battle, starting off with the leg in Labry. We'd like to thank the people of Chosel Saltibus for such a warm welcome. Please allow me to hand over to the parliamentary representative of Shosa Saltibus as he shares a few remarks. 
Well, I hope Labu realize the standard has been set very high. And it looks like it's getting better and better and better. So, you have your work cut out for you tomorrow. You saw the beautiful colors we had. Masha Mr. Paulinsa, Kubi Mr. Paulinsa, and Shai, and Shai, so she's getting fit for the next time around. <laughs> yes, but we had fun today. We had a great time. We were happy that the minister joined us in Twitter. And we're looking forward that every constituency can make it better. Good job. Hats off. Yes, indeed. But, but Bradley, to be honest, I think it started with Cassie South. Cassie South gave a very, very good representation of themselves. And trust me, they did so well that Sufre said, Lupa Fede. And last, yesterday, Sufre's episode had a total reach of over 200,000 people. Over more than the population of St. Lucia watched Sufre yesterday. I'm hoping that Swazil can match up. But certainly, Labry, you have all your preparation to do to ensure you come up to speed and to deliver to the good people of St. Lucia what Swazil and Sufre did. So, Labry, over to you. And folks, we are doing this on the altar of unification. Thank you, Minister. Um, I can promise as chairman that we will deliver as we did last year. And the records prove last year that library was second to none. So rest assured, ministers, that tomorrow, when our leg is completed, we'll be right up it. All right, I do not wish to spend too much time, but just to say thanks to everybody who has participated. Tomorrow is our leg. We have done the preparatory work, as is always. Um, come out, everybody, to support us. We'll be there and we will deliver. Thank you. At this time, we'd like to take in some of the entertainment, some trouble before we close.
very much. Thank you for that musical rendition. And tomorrow, library will start off at 9 a.m. Library will be joining to your constituency commencing from 9 a.m. I'd like to thank the chairman from Soja South of us, my brother. I'd like to thank you, your deputy, your counselors, your team on the ground. I'd like to thank the ministry, the workers that came out to do to support. I'd like to thank all those who started and ended here together with us. And on behalf of the Honorable Richard Frederick, Permanent Secretary, DPS, and the staff of the ministry, we thought that we were welcoming your constituency. So we thank Shosa greatly. And to Labry, we anticipate an amazing day tomorrow. So we thank everyone, and we shall continue the journey tomorrow.